Army worms are marching in, invading neighborhoods across Oklahoma. Maybe it's happened to your lawn. They're wiping out yards, causing hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars in damage. We recently told you about the army worm invasion, but today we're digging deeper into how to stop them as more and more Oklahomans are growing frustrated. Joining us is Dr. Eric Rebeck, a professor at OSU at the Department of Entomology and Plant Pathology. That's quite a title. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Heather. Well, let's talk a little bit about these army worms and really how can we identify them? How do they look different from, say, a caterpillar? Sure. Uh, well, first of all, they are caterpillars, um, and these are technically fall armyworms, which are slightly different from uh, true armyworms in terms of their biology. But um, both species do consume grasses, and this particular species, these caterpillars measure about one and a half to two inches long when fully grown. Uh, their coloration can vary from green, brown, or almost black. Uh, but what they do have is a prominent inverted Y-shaped marking on the front of their face, on, the, on their head capsule. Um, there's also a black stripe that runs along each side of their body and a fainter stripe that's a, a, that runs along the top. Um, these caterpillars don't overwinter in Oklahoma, um, so our populations of fall armworm depend on the yearly migration of adult moths that arrive up here from the Gulf Coast areas. Okay, so, you know, we definitely don't want to kill monarch caterpillars, so thank you for identifying them for us, but how quickly, sure. you mentioned they eat grass, is that all they eat, and if so, how quickly can they really destroy a lawn? Well, they don't get the term um, armyworm for nothing, right? Um, mm -hmm. In large numbers, they can consume an entire lawn uh, very rapidly, seemingly overnight, according to most reports, uh, before they march on as a group to their next favorite food source, which might be your neighbor's lawn. Um, they do have a wide uh, host range in terms of the number of plants they'll eat, but they do prefer grasses, and chief among these is Bermuda grass, uh, followed closely by cool season grasses like fescues and uh, blue grasses and even occasionally bent grass. So what kinds of environment do they like best? Why has this invasion been so bad this year? Sure. Um, any environment that contains their favorite food is really where they'll thrive. Um, like home lawns and golf courses, as well as uh, city parks. Um, but like many other landscape pests, some years are worse than others. And this just happens to be the worst fall armyworm year that many folks that I've talked to through my extension duties um, that they've seen in 20 years. Uh, but their numbers are mostly determined by how successful the adult moths uh, will find suitable habitat um, and in which to mate and lay eggs. And, Incidentally, each female moth can lay up to 1,000 eggs in her lifetime. Wow. I, with your background there, it's making me nervous. We're going to see an army worm crawl up right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Come and munch my head. Yeah. <laughs> right. So how do you get rid of them for good? What is the key to just getting them out of your lawn for good? Sure. There's, there's basically two approaches, depending on the type of lawn you have, and we'll get into that. But uh, first, you can wait for the first uh, killing frost to eliminate them. These are very cold-sensitive caterpillars. Uh, which is why they don't overwinter well in Oklahoma at all. Um, other than that, a properly registered insecticide that's labeled for turf grass caterpillar pests is the only other option to manage them when they are out in full force like we're seeing now. Um, most of these products, by the way, contain broad spectrum chemicals that will kill more than just a fall armyworm. So be careful not to apply when pollinators and other beneficial insects are active. So. Uh, that is, wait to spray when it's early morning or later in the evening when insect activity dies down. Okay, great tips. Thank you very much. A lot of people for, are suffering from this, so we appreciate your insight on this. Eric Rebeck with Oklahoma State University. Thank you.